Russell Branded. <laughs> God, it's too easy. Branded is a movie that you'll probably say you've never heard of. But then you'll look up the trailer and you'll be like, Oh yeah, I remember seeing and then instantly forgetting about that. Because I was too busy watching Batman. It immediately kicks off with a cow in space and a child being struck by lightning. If any work went into this series, I would claim the movie was doing it for me. But until they make a movie that will smoke a bull and then bluntly summarize itself in the most insultingly simplistic way possible, I can still claim that I have a purpose in the universe. Branded now occupying my other purpose. To expose the evils of advertising through extremely blunt metaphor. So since I was out of my normal 9 to 5 job, I had nothing better to do than to keep my eyes open for actual product placement. Because you know, who would be stupid enough to pay money to have their product advertised in a movie that's expressly against advertising? Just Samsung? Apparently... Okay. So let's take it from the top. A kid looks into the sky and sees a cow in the stars and then is immediately struck by lightning. Normally a Russian such as himself would be thrilled to be struck by lightning because dying is pretty much the quickest way out of Russia. But unfortunately for him, he lives. However, being struck by lightning gives him marketing superpowers. I'm not gonna do it. I know what you're thinking, I'm not gonna do it. And back to the point, marketing superpowers? I mean, I guess it's better to get the short end of the stick than to not get anything at all, but seriously. Keep on it, buddy. Maybe eventually you can amount to half of Iron Man's backstory. Oh, is just being an advertiser too boring for you? Well, then get a load of this. He's also a spy for America. There, now that he's a spy, this can't be boring, right? He uses his pen to record marketing conversations and you know what it's really not important i don't even know why i brought it up but misha which is his name oh man i'm so good at conveyance is i didn't have an end to that sentence fuck so anyway he starts screwing his boss's daughter because who doesn't want to fuck their boss's daughter the answer to that is people whose bosses have fat daughters now mixing business and pleasure is sort of like cholesterol there's good cholesterol and then there's bad cholesterol fucking your boss's daughter is good cholesterol entering a business arrangement with your boss's daughter is definitely bad cholesterol and that's what it all comes down to is cholesterol because once she gets that commitment of being in a business relationship she thinks she doesn't have to take care of herself anymore and then she gets fat or she starts a terrible reality show about fat people. And that's what she did, so great, that's just what the world needs. More programming blocking up precious airtime on the women's entertainment network that could be better spent on RuPaul's Drag Race. I, I mean, um... Anyway, she makes a show that's kind of like The Biggest Loser. And Misha markets it to stupid people! Like you! Because advertising is evil! It was invented by Lenin for communism! The movie actually makes that claim. Hold on, I'm looking this up. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not true. Meanwhile, at the advertising committee's skull fortress, some old guy is like, People aren't buying the hamburger! People! Anyway, back at the main plot, Fatty McEats a lot is having second thoughts about the surgery. Yeah, maybe you should drop a few pounds before developing an opinion. And stop being a woman if you want it to matter. Luckily, they do the right thing and force her to get the surgery without her consent anyway. But then something goes mysteriously awry. The woman is left fortunately attractive, but tragically in a coma. I think it's pretty fair trade. But then the media says... Hey, shitty. Poop city. Blah, 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 blah. Because the media is stupid. But then a bunch of people get angry anyway because they're like, She's only in a coma because you said there was something wrong with her. The conventional standards of beauty that the media puts on women is... Because a bunch of people is stupid. Misha is then blamed for whatever the comatose equivalent to a murder is. And he's thrown into a jail cell where his rectum can think about what he's done. And also widen. <laughs> Then it goes back to the round table of advertisement and the hamburger guy's all like Yes! Everything is going exactly according to plan! Soon, fat will be the new beautiful! 
<laughs> yeah, I think I'd rather die than live in a world where fat people can be confident in their bodies. That's a fucking terrible message. That'd be great. Because there would be so many more hot girls with low self-esteem. Then Misha's boss bails him out of jail about 500 butt rapings later. And Misha's like, marketing shit. And then his boss has a heart attack. Misha decides to go into exile so that he can never market again. Nor can he use his marketing powers for evil. Or if he market- I'm not doing it. So then Misha goes to herd cows. And then years later, his ex-boss's ex-daughter shows up. And then Misha falls asleep and has a dream. And then in the dream, he falls asleep and has a dream. I don't- should I- f I'm plugging myself here, I guess. I've got to advertise just to spite it. Fuck you and the message you stand for. So then in the dream dream, Milos gets very specific instructions to do the dumbest thing ever. So he builds a big wooden fortress, and then he looks at a white cow, and then the white cow turns into a red cow, and then he takes the red cow into the wooden fortress. And then he gets naked and kills the cow with an axe. Daggers out, covered head to penis and blood, and then sets the fortress on fire. Then he goes and he finds the ashes of the cow, and then he puts them in water, and then he has this really weird fucking slimy cow water, and then he dumps it on his idiot face and passes out naked in the middle of nowhere. Then he wakes up in his boss's daughter's car, who apparently found him in that state and thought, how about I bring this possible psychotic to my home? He can meet my obese, easily murdered child. Wait a minute. Our obese, easily murdered child. But then Misho Horny wakes up and he sees thingies are coming out of people's necks. He doesn't really say anything about it for a while. Then he realizes that the things are the brands. And then when they buy the brands, their neck thingies break off and go into a bigger thingy that's on top of the brand building. And then it's like a big monster that's kind of themed like the brand's logo. And then Misha is like, The brands, they control everything and now they are in your mind and tell you what you want all the time and his advertising is evil. And then his boss's daughter is all, Yo, that's retarded. Yes, yes it is. I'm glad we're on the same page. So then presumably because she's concerned about the way that Misha is eyeing her and her child's doughy necks, boss daughter decides to leave him alone in their home. First of all, that's dumb because rather than kicking him out, she ran away from her house. And second, where was this crazy alarm when she found him naked, covered in blood and liquidized bovine? That provokes Misha man to break his vow to never market his dad. 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 What was that? Oh, here, oh, here it comes! No, uh, oh, I can't stop! So then he advertises a vegetable, and then the vegetable turns into a dragon and it kills the burgers. Then he opens up an advertising firm and is hired by everyone immediately on the spot. Because, you know, if I were a company, I would totally trust the guy with the large hit list whiteboard who's systematically crossing off the names of companies that he's run into the ground. With all of my public relations. So then Mishit basically orchestrates his own personal brand monster war in the streets of Moscow, which nobody can see except for him, so... I bet there was more than one occasion where there was some pressing business matter, and his secretary finds him on the roof looking out into the horizon and giggling to himself like a maniac, and she's all... You have a call on my... Shut your tits. I am watching Coke wrestle Pepsi. What the fuck? And then she shuts her tits. And then he grinds them up and snorts the- I mean, all the monsters kill each other. And then Russia does what Russia does best. Bees a bad place to live. Then the citizens assemble into an angry mob. In hopes that they'll be unfairly gunned down by the police. And then Misha's girlfriend shows up in Misha's advertising majiggy thing. Just as the angry mob gets there, oh no! Misha, use your cow powers and- Pow, right in the kitchen! Oh, fuck, they beat his ass. A cop shows up with a gun and fires into the- Killing no one and wasting the one service-issued round that Russian officers of the law are given. Disappointed that none of them would taste the sweet release of death that day, they all turn around and go home. Then the Russian government bans advertising forever and builds gulags, because fuck you. Back at Castle Gayskull, the Burger King dons a Stalin was a super cool guy hoodie sweatshirt. Tight-fitting and pre-washed, only $185.99 at your local Abercrombie and Fitch, you shit-eating fat. He's all like, To the stars I must return! I will cultivate my glorious army of fat women and there will be enough cushion for more pushing than ever before and then he gets hit by a lightning bolt and does the whole star wars thing where he fucking disappears leaving only his clothing so i guess there are all these fucking naked old guy ghosts running around everywhere yeah mull that one around in your thoughts for a while you're sick you're sick then the ex-fat chick wakes up and she wanders out into a brave new world where people will actually have sex with her sober and everything and then it reveals that space cow was the narrator the whole time God, this was fucking dumb.
Um, there are a lot of things that confuse me about Brandon. First of all, was it supposed to be funny? Because I thought it was really funny. Why does it acknowledge that its own premise is fucking stupid? And then proceed to keep running with it and make a serious point. Was the Burger Queen the same old guy from Sucker Punch? Was the marketing behind this movie god-awful intentionally out of integrity? Or did they legitimately not know how to sell it? And if they actually have that little understanding of the marketing world, then why the hell are they making a movie about are it? Are they bitter because they can't wrap their idiot minds around it? Did Samsung have to pay money to have a billboard in the movie? Or did they not pay enough money or threaten to sue enough to not put a Samsung billboard in the movie? Also, why didn't they get a monster? Why was Misha a spy? Come to think of it, why was Misha Russian? Is cows really a theme? Because that's dumb. And also the best idea in the movie. And did the fat chicks fit in with the cow theme, or was that just a coincidence? Also, am I like a character, or am I just expressing my point of view in a way that's comedic? I don't really get that. Market is dead. <laughs> <laughs>